You okay, Joey? <sighs> yeah, yeah, now move over. I'm driving. Look, this is a very big day for me. <clears throat> Philly called. By the end of the day, I'm either gonna be a made man or I'm gonna be dead. What the fuck's going on? It's about money. This time it's gold, but it's always about fucking money. Look, you really sure you want to know what this is all about? Okay, kid. All right, but I better start at the beginning. All right, listen, when we got back from Nam, Eggs said he owed him. Eggs? You mean Johnny Eggs, right? I heard yeah, him. Yeah, Johnny Eggs beyond them. Anyway, listen, when we got back home, he said he had some big plans, and I went right along with him, because pretty much I had nothing else to do that day. Little Italy. That's where I first met Philly Lombardi. Hey, so you're Joey. I want to thank you for looking after my boy. He was talking about eggs. So I understand you're looking for work. Look, I got a little business in North Carolina you could take care of for me. See, what you gotta understand is, what most monsters do on a day-to-day -day basis to earn is mundane. Like, buying cigarettes cheaply in North Carolina and reselling them in New York. Without collecting any tax, of course. What the fuck's all the ruckus, boss? Ain't got time to explain, Bill. Go out front and see if the girls need any help, okay? I'll be back soon. Oh, and Bill, lock this door behind us, and don't leave the diner till help gets here, okay? Sure. Sure, boss. Go grab that gun over there on the side. I'll take you to Ernie's place. He's got a gun store not too far from here. He'll be able to help us. You got the gun, Joe? Come on. These friends of yours? <laughs> I didn't know it at the time, but there was a lot more to this than cigarettes. 
An innocent man had been killed here, and I had a feeling he wasn't going to be the last. You guys take care of them and we'll sort your cut out later, okay? No problem, boy. I got your cure right here. I figured this must have been Weasel Walt. Killing's yes, a funny thing, kid. It can be the easiest of things and can also be the hardest. You think if you target as a father, a brother, a son, even for a second, then you're a dead man. I was no stranger to guns, even in the early days. I've been to war, seeing guys die right in front of me by my own hand. For me, shooting and dropping a guy is as easy as breathing. Dreams, fucko. When I reached the junkyard, more Weasel Waltz redneck goons were waiting for me. I just couldn't fucking understand why someone wanted me dead so badly. fucking inbreds thought I was gonna go running under a hanging car while they were at the controls and they were even more stupid than I thought. So much for redneck cunning. Fuck 
you, city boy. Well, fuck you right back. <laughs> When I reached the gun store, there was no one around, and since I wasn't planning on getting myself killed, I thought I'd best announce myself. Ernie. Ernie, you in here? I'm here, boy. And just who the fuck are you? The name's Verola. Joey Verola. Sorry, son. I thought you was one of those no-good boys or weasels. Maurice called to say you'd be here soon. Well, where's Merv? Uh... I'm afraid Merv didn't make it all the time. Dead? Weasel Walt and his boys have gone too far this time. You know where I can find this guy? Yeah, but I got a more pressing problem, boy. While we stand here getting acquainted, Walt's boys are busy raiding my store. I ain't as young as I used to be, and sure could use a hand here. Way I figured it. The way to the swamp was through the old-timer's gun store, and if I was ever gonna get my truck back, his problem had just become my problem. Lead the way, old man. Couldn't have done it on my own. You want to find your truck? Go out that door and just keep on going. There's only one way through to the swamp from here. Glad I could help, old timer. Hey, enough of the old. Now you're gonna have to forgive me, cause I got a whole lot of cleaning up to do back there. Walt and his boys are no good thieves and liars. You go give them what they deserve, son. Where for the rednecks, you jerks are back, huh? Wipe your mouth, Vanola. That's Varola, jerk off. I'll put it on your gravestone, prick. Whoever had sent these guys to look after me wasn't taking any chances. Seemed like half a fucking New York's wise guys had turned out just to see I didn't make it through the day alive. Why? See you in hell. <laughs> so, at last, I reached the swamp. I just had to find the truck, and I was in the clear, but... 
As usual, things didn't go that easy. 